Meg was chastised by Edda Neal for her inconsiderate behavior towards Thomas, an unmarried father of three. Considering Meghan Markle's connection with her father, it is hypocritical. William Markle, though the terms tense and complex may immediately come to mind, Meghan had a strong relationship with her father when she was younger, and he took special care to take her to movie and television sets. That makes a lot of sense in light of Meghan's prosperous acting career, as Hollywood Life points out. Though it may seem like a dream come true for a small child destined to become a well-known actress, Meghan would frequently accompany Thomas on set. To claim that their connection was tight even when Meghan was young would be an exaggeration. Actor Ed O'Neill appeared in the classic 1980 sitcom Married with Children, on which Thomas Markle contributed. Ed O'Neill has no memory of the past. During her interview on Ellen O'Neill on Monday, Meghan Marle played a game of Who's This where he had to identify pictures of celebrities and the Duchess of Sussex, among other people. Is that Mark, correct? Before remembering how the now royal child grew up on the set of his iconic comedy Married with Children since her estranged father Thomas Marle worked on the program, O'Neill stated to host Alan Generous. Her father operated cameras for a living. Saying so, O'Neill 72 decided to join the set. Regarding the disagreement, I'm not sure, but from what I remember, he was a really kind, loving, and caring man. It's obvious that he works too hard to make money, so he gradually runs out of time for Meghan, who eventually went on to become an actress and is now married to a British prince. Anil continued, you could tell how much he loved his daughter and how proud he was of her. He was the only employee who made the effort to bring a child to set. What is more noteworthy Meghan made her acting debut in an uncredited role in the season 9 episode titled The Undergraduate at Edway back in 1995 and she played a student the episode saw Kelly Christina Applegate getting a secret admirer who simply wanted to take it to his junior high school prom meanwhile. Bird David Faustino sneaks in as a DJ to play a slow song to avenge his firing even though Marco was on a singular episode with no credit and mainly in the background as Ed O'Neill points out. She spent a significant amount of time around the set thanks to her father's role in the production although later in life she always took feminism as a guiding principle she never mentioned a first role in marriage with children which made fans confused because this is a rare film that clearly demonstrates the key role of female directors and shows that their intellectual strength isn't inferior to other male directors in the film industry for the first two seasons of Married with Children the Majority of episodes were directed by a woman Linda Day draws comparisons between that and shows like Friends and Seinfeld, where women direct none of the seasons. Women accounted for 66% of the show's director and writer roles, somewhat exceeding the two most popular series at the time. Although this was a brief evaluation and, to be honest, I didn't count the number of women named as producers it still demonstrates that women were given a voice and a place at the table on the program. Meg was still alive in the 1950s, and Marl grew up on the set since her dad got to take her there the two times Emmy was awarded, but she has never once spoken this as something that inspired or was good.